My name is Uwe Feller, founder of Feller Yachting. I'm a boat builder and designer, and uh, I develop what I call the slender planing craft, or the Dimex boats, and I'm always on the search of the dynamic maximum. I want to give a little insight in the work and project we've done and uh, we are working on. To make things become reality, we have a boat building and composite workshop and a shop for mechanical engineering and production where we are making our own complete surface drives, hybrid systems, clutches, steerings, and doing research on various motor and engine concepts. The first one I want to talk about is the silicon fire technology. In 2010, the Swiss company Silicon Fire ordered the first boat with the task to have it run on 100% of their regenerative produced methanol. What they invented and set it up is incredible. There's a prototype of a mobile station having the size of a 40-foot container and a tower able to produce up to 1,000 liters per day. The ingredients to make the methanol, it's regenerative energy, water, and the waste CO2. So, methanol is an alcohol and a perfect fuel to fire modern gasoline engines. Electronic fuel injection and turbocharger is preferred, and right now there are three boats on the water. There are a lot of advantages. The engine runs much cooler, exhaust gases are cooler, it's a cleaner burning process, and the biggest part that leaves the exhaust is water. Also, diesel engines, even those on, from superyachts, can be powered up by injecting water and methanol, into the intake manifold. You can expect a little bit more power and the cleaner burning process with particles reduced. And also imagine the possibility of having a station on board producing methanol for the yard also and also the tenders. There's also a concept we're following to distribute it and making it available for pleasure craft. We're working on a cartridge system available in any harbor shop, gas station, boatyard, etc. Filling up your boat is done in minutes without spilling and getting in direct contact with this new fuel. The other technology I want to talk about is electric driven boats, usually powered with batteries. We are building the Voltage. She has 40 kilowatt motor and runs 27 knots. I like electric drives a lot. They have a lot of advantages. What I don't like so much are the batteries. They are the weakest part in the chain of the propulsion system, unpredictable and causing a lot of trouble when used in fast planning power boats. Right now, there's a run on putting more and more power into boats with the idea of replacing combustion engines by electric motors. In other words, to replace a V8 by an electric motor. I think it's a dangerous game. We have already opened pleasure craft with up to 500 volts on board, and as we all know, water and electricity don't really belong together. If you install more and more power, you need to get higher in voltage, otherwise the batteries cannot take the load. I personally don't want to go this way. I think alternative drives need a change in design. But before I go on with this, I'd like to take a look at hybrids. We made a double one. As a main drive, we have two times 145 horsepower gasoline engines, and as a support, two times 13 kilowatt electric motors. Engines and motors are sitting on the same shaft, separated by an electromagnetic clutch. The power to get the power into the water, we use two surface drives. We learned quite a lot by doing this prototype. It's keeping it simple as possible. One project that is on our mind with a company, Swiss company, Silicon Fire, is a small electric main drive powered by a range extender or generator with a little battery in between. The simplest is to take what's there and running on methanol. Honda is the, cho the choice. I found out when I made my lawnmower running on that stuff. So whatever you do, 100% battery or hybrid, you have to make changes in boat design. Imagine you can only take a small amount of energy with you, but you need a lot in planning mode because it's like going constantly uphill. Our new approach for small craft, leaving the smallest footprint possible, but being safe and fast is a new voltage arrow. One good thing on electric propulsion is that you can exactly control your performance. Every single kilowatt that you gain or lose can easily be monitored. For our new boat, we have a new approach. More speed and range are not achieved by more engine power and larger batteries, but by optimizing the weight and the hydro and aerodynamic properties, as well as getting the power into the water. We want to set the power fix to a max of 40 kilowatts and get more performance by reducing the weight and wetted surface, altering the driving position, working on aerodynamics to create more lift, 
replacing the inflatable tubes on the sides by little wick profiles to create more dynamic air pressure aft. We achieved in our first trials 36 kilo lift at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour. That's about 8% of the weight of the boat. For getting the power as efficient as possible into the water, we are working on a surface drive version. We are looking for a performance of 35 knots at, 50, at 40 kilowatt. The other concept we are working on is less scientific, and it's for going offshore. It's a small fundraising boat with the evil plan to abandon the annoying jet skis on boards of Super Yacht and install a couple of thrilling battle boats. We call them the micro racers. It's based on the idea of offering a highly professional and very entertaining racing boat. Sportive, fast, minimalistic, easy to handy, and very secure. The design features are methanol powered engine, 160 horsepower, surface drive propulsion, self lightening hull, targa wing doors, minimal but comfortable interior. The weight is just 350 kilos. For racing, you need a couple of them on board, and the racetrack, which will be set up by radio-controlled boys, staying in their position via GPS. A racetrack can be designed on a tablet and send the boys into their position. You are free to race wherever you are, even on a calm day in open sea. Thank you. Okay.